Hey, what's good, YouTube? Your favorite DJ is back, back with another video. Like, like I keep telling y'all in all the beginnings of my videos, like, if y'all got three favorite DJs, I'm one of them. I ain't gotta be the number one in all y'all eyes, but I'm top three. I ain't gonna say top five, I'm gonna say top three favorite DJ of y'all's of all time. So I have to be that, you know what I'm saying? You have to put me in that in that category. Even if y'all ain't never heard me DJ before. So a lot of people probably that watch these videos ain't never heard me DJ. Come on to Atlanta, come hear me DJ. And then you watch the video. So if you watching the video, ain't no other DJ getting y'all content and all that. My hand shaking. But yeah, anyway, today is, what's today? Today's Sunday. So it's like Sunday, it's probably about five, four o'clock watching football all day. You know what I'm saying? So ever since I woke up at least, I wouldn't say all day, but since I woke up, Watching football, so I've been chilling. Right now, I'm in the closet. Uh, I was just going through my clothes, going through these shoes. Like, I got shoes, and it's not even all of them. Like, I still have shoes in Chicago. I got shoes in my room, all types of shoes. Like, before the DJing thing even happened, like, I was a sneakerhead. Like, but let me rephrase that. In Chicago, we don't even use the word sneakers. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the rack, so we didn't even use it. We call our shoes gym shoes. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't even say I was like a... Well, I in in this point to make my point better so y'all can understand because I know y'all use the word sneaker. I wasn't a sneakerhead at first. I just loved Jordans. But growing up, you know what I'm saying? I probably got like one pair of Jordans growing up. So it was pretty much like um Air Force Ones type thing. So I was in the Air Force Ones at first. So I was into the mids and then moved on to the low tops and all that other type of stuff. So I was Air Force Ones, then I was uh Jordan, then the next was Jordan. So like in Chicago, I don't know. Like everywhere else I've been going to, they say they call them J's. Like Chicago, we call them Mikes. So when you come to Chicago, man, we got the Mikes on. We don't say J's or nothing like that. The Michael Jordans and nothing like that. We call them Mikes. But yeah, start off with Mikes. Start by Mikes. I used to buy like every pair that comes out. I didn't care what colorway it was, whatever it was. As long as it was Mikes, I was buying them. Then I started venturing off getting other different stuff or whatever. But ever since I moved to Atlanta, I don't know why. I just stopped, like, really buying sneakers and really into sneakers like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Eventually, I might just get back. Because lately, I've just been on, like, simple stuff. Like, black Tims, wheat Tims, all white ones type thing. You know what I'm saying? The starter kit. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. But, you know what I'm saying? I got shoes here and that, some Yeezys, this, that, whatever. But, oh, look. Then a lot of times, I don't even be wearing all these shoes. Also, too, my foot grown, so... Yeah, so, like, some of these shoes fit tighter, like, tight, tight. So, I only be wearing these. I should give them away to start my whole collection over with. But then, I don't like giving shoes away because, like, stories behind these shoes. Like, from you waiting in line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of these shoes, I have to wait in line for. Then, you move up, get you a plug, all that type of stuff. You don't do the white line. You don't do the all that raffle stuff no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's stories behind my shoes. That's why I don't like giving them away type thing. Like, I did all that for the shoe. Might as well keep them, even if I ain't want. Like, some of these shoes I ain't never wore, so. Yeah, so I'm going to squeeze my feet in the ones that's tight on me now and still go out on them. I don't care. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about getting back into sneakers, you know what I'm saying? That's just a little something I probably just bring to the channel, a little part of me. Like, I ain't finna go too crazy with the sneaker content, like, doing reviews and all that type stuff. Like, if I get some sneakers, I'll unbox them for you, stuff like that. Start showing you what shoes I got on. Little stuff like that. I ain't finna be a full pledge like sneaker channel, cause you know what I'm saying? I'm the DJ, you know what I'm saying? I'm your favorite DJ. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite DJ on YouTube, your favorite DJ in real life. Just pick a category, like I'm your favorite, top three, like I say. But yeah, I'll probably just start bringing some little stuff like that. My bad, y'all hear that noise, that's my hell against that box. But yeah, I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna hit the, you know what I'm saying, get into the sneaker thing and all that other stuff. But I don't know yet, but I might end up doing that because I want to get back into sneakers and all that other type of stuff. Lately, I ain't going to lie to you. I've just been lazy. But besides all that going on, you already know, we up again tonight. You know what I'm saying? So tonight, it's like it's been raining. It's been off and on raining today, but I guess that's cool or whatever. That's how it's been for the whole past week, week and a half. Rain, not rain, fog, all types. Like, the weather ain't been consistent down here as far as with the rain and stuff. Like, we've been rainy. And I'm tired of because I want to get a car wash. So, anyway, we're going to get through this rain. And I believe it's going to start getting to that winter weather now. You know what I'm saying? We still experience spring. But, uh, besides the point, like I said, man, we back in the club today. I'm going to go over my music. Read on my, I do this every day, go over my music. Because I got to get better as a DJ. That's just me. I got to look at the small technical things to get better. But, doing that, 
You know what I'm saying? We at the club tonight, so be prepared for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get up out this closet, do a couple of things, you know what I'm saying? Like go over the music, stuff like that, like I say, I always do anyway. So I'm finna go over there and just prepare for tonight. That's pretty much what I'm finna do. And then, you know what I'm saying? We at the club, like always, you know what I'm saying? At the club, at the booty club, with, you know what I'm saying? The dances and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's what we on today. That's what we doing today. So we finna get straight to it. Later that day. Okay, gang, so... I'm ready to go to the club, but I don't feel like going to the club. As you can see, I'm still pretty much laying in the bed. So, yeah, bad. Yeah. So, I'm finna get up and finally go to the club. Need to go to the gas station, get some gas. I ain't did that in about three, four days. So, I need to do that. And then we finna head on to the club. So, Sunday night. Hopefully, Sunday night gonna go up. Like I, said, I don't even know what time it is right now. It's probably time for me to get out the house anyway, but... Sunday night, we finna be up. We finna be lit on a Sunday. On a Sunday. Like, you know what I'm saying? We speaking this into the air. So, we won't be sending that board away. Well, I ain't gonna send that board regardless. Me, personally. You know what I'm saying? But I'm finna watch a call. Like I said, I'm finna turn up. Head on my business. And have fun, like always. Might as well. If I'm there, might as well have fun. And might as well go crazy. Like, I'm telling y'all, I'm not letting up. Like, I got to keep repeating myself because I don't think y'all believe me. Like, I'm not letting up. Like, I'm going hard, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Even with YouTube. Like, if you're new to the channel, like I say, man, you 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 came in at the perfect time. Cause I'm trying to drop every other day. That's the goal. I have been doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just started doing it, but I've been doing it. So, I'm focused. I'm focused. I'm focused. Focused. Every other day of video. Then, hopefully, that's going to switch to every day of video. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not letting up. So... We'll go from every other day, and then once I get the groove of that, then we'll jump to every day type thing. So, you better do that, you know what I'm saying? Because at first, I was just dropping once a week, but now, I'm going to drop every other day. So, I got to go crazy, got to go hard, and just, you know what I'm saying, make videos and push out this content, like I say. And then, like I say, with the DJ side, too, I got to go hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, I'm going to let y'all know, I'm not looking to go into no other clubs right now. Cause I need to sit back and perfect my skills some more. Like that's what I feel like. So that's why I'm going hard every time I DJ now. Like I try to perfect my skills, get myself better. Like don't get me wrong, I can go to the other clubs and DJ, but I want to be really good. You know what I'm saying? Like legit. Like once I go in there, gas on the pedal, not not letting up at all. Like my foot's on everybody's neck type stuff when I go to the other clubs. So when they want me to DJ, I'm gonna go ballistic type thing, bro. Every single night. So. That's why I'm using this my opportunity and chance now at this club. You know what I'm saying? To practice, to be honest with you. That's how I'm looking at it. It's practice, sharpen up my skills, get better, and all that. So when I go to the other club and they hear me DJ and listen to me, I'm going to go ballistic, and they're going to look at me like I'm crazy, but then they're going to love it type thing. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to not take, you know what I'm saying, every opportunity. and Just sit back for a second. Get yourself right first. Once you get yourself right, then you jump back out there type thing. So that's what I'm doing. Just get myself right, then jump back up up there. But like I say, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm going crazy on YouTube. So y'all get to see this. So y'all going to let me go from here to here type thing. Like y'all going to see the growth. That's what I want y'all to see. So hopefully y'all see my growth and inspire y'all to grow whatever y'all trying to do too. So like this like this channel right here, like I be telling y'all, like I said this in other videos and stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? About pressure gain, all that. That's all we doing, applying pressure and growing. That's all we do on this channel. Just grow, go up, 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 go up. You know what I'm saying? That's all we doing, you know what I'm saying? Consistency, hard work. What's this channel about, you know what I'm saying? Having fun, too, because that's how I work at strip club. I got all the all the beautiful girls around me, all that type of stuff. So that's fun, but we going up still, elevating all that type of stuff. So I ain't want to be in strip clubs my whole life. But this is start right here. So we're going to go jump for strip clubs. Then we're going to do bigger clubs. And so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth. Hopefully be on like a DJ Khaled level. I'm dropping albums type thing. Like, it's possible. As long as I got to put my mind to it, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Let me stop talking. Shut up and talking. And go on ahead and get out this bed so I can get to the club. You all know, can tell I'm already at my second favorite spot. Not by choice, though. But at the gas station, finally finna get some gas. Ooh. Let me I'll show y'all. Let me tell y'all the biggest trick about the gas station, right? When you at the gas station, this is the time to always make sure you throw all that extra trash out your car. 
Let me tell you, you've been to the gas station, ain't throw no trash out the car, it's still in your car, your car stank down, like all that. Like when you go to the gas station, get rid of all your trash out your car. Damn, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, man, I'm trying to hold this record and put gas in my car. My fault. I'm doing a lot right now. I want a receipt, yeah. Man, I always get your receipt. So the police said you was here at this time, you never was. See? I don't know how I feel. Yeah, let me just get back with y'all what I'm doing. Yeah, oh, no, man, not no more. Damn, that's all the took. Damn, I ain't take nothing. I'm trying to get to $22. Over 22. I don't know if y'all can see that, but oh well. Damn, yeah, I ain't no gas. I don't know gas had been cheap that huh? <laughs> no, I don't know where y'all at gas. 260 now in a lot of I'm glad they Chicago, but I was just Chicago. Big gas was down there five dollars. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me go to the gas station. We already know I gotta get my bath for tonight, which is gonna be water. But I'm going to the gas station, grab this, and then I'm gonna hit the road. I keep saying that like I got three hours to drive, but you know, we on our way to the club. Hey y'all, it's the end of the night. It was a boring ass night. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, eventually I sat in the chair and went to sleep. Like, that's how boring it was. Wasn't nothing going on. None of that shit. Like, I don't know. Like, they weren't throwing money. None of that. It was, it was people there, don't get me wrong. But it was a sorry ass Sunday. Like, yeah, yeah, that's how I felt. But it's over with now. I took my ass home. It go to bed. Oh, man. Let's see? Empty ass club, ain't nobody in here. Girls love early, all types of shit. So, yeah, that's how you know it's bad. When the girls start leaving early, start leaving at 2, 2.30 type shit. Yeah, but like I said, man, dry ass night. People was dry. I don't know what was going on. Money was dry, all that type of shit, man. Like, I don't know. You just felt the energy. Energy was off today. I ain't even gonna stunt. Energy was off. Wasn't a good night at all. But, like I said, man, I'm feeling good out of here, and I'll check in tomorrow morning, sometime, whenever, whenever I wake up. Yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah, 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 I'm going to go now. The next day. Man, bro, next day, next day, next day, next day. Last night was horrible, 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 horrible. Like, I don't know, like I told y'all, did I tell y'all last night? I don't remember what I said last night. Y'all know it was dry. Y'all seen in the little clip video, whatever y'all wanna call it, y'all seen that, that it's dry. And then that's what it was. But like I say, man, today a whole new day. Ain't got the do-rag line. Forehead look big. I already got a big forehead. Oh well, but yeah. Next day, I only think it's about noon, something like that. I don't know. I got a bunch of stuff to do, but I don't feel like doing it. If I need to go on ahead and get up and go on ahead and do it, so I can knock it out the way, so I ain't gonna do it no other day for the rest of the week. Knock it out the day so I can be done with it, but I just don't feel like doing it. Especially when it comes to driving. Like, I gotta drive all the way to the other side of town. Like, and I don't, like, it's Monday, people at work, school, man. Like, you gotta, go, you gotta drive through all that traffic, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, that's why I stay in the house. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like dealing with traffic. Especially down here. Like, traffic do not let up whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Like, 10 o'clock, road full of traffic. Like, everybody should be at work while there's traffic type thing. Like, I don't get Like, certain stuff I don't even get. Like, it don't make sense to me. Like, same way with, like, I used to work at Walmart, right? So I used to do the automotive stuff or whatever like that. Work on the cars or whatever like that, right? And I always wonder, like, we ain't open up to 9 o'clock. Like, how the hell is we packed at 9 o'clock? 
on a, on a Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Like Monday, whatever, any day of the week, we like packed out at nine o'clock in the morning. Like, don't nobody over here work type thing. Like, don't nobody got no jobs. I thought most jobs you're supposed to be at at eight, nine o'clock, like type thing, you know what I'm saying? Even if you work overnight, you probably go to the crib, go to sleep, whatever. Take your kids to school, like something. Like, why is you at Walmart at nine o'clock in the morning? You know what I'm saying? So I don't be understanding it, man. But yeah, traffic suck down here. But I got to deal with it today because I got stuff to do anyway. So, yeah, about that. Golly, I almost told me a retwist. Nah, I look worse before, so nah, I can hang on to this. But, yeah, but I'm finna, I don't know, man. I'm finna get up and try to do something. I'm, uh, man, I ain't even talking right. Like, oh, no, man. I think I can say, man, at least I woke up sexy this morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's given, man. Every morning I just wake up sexy anyway, so... Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just natural. You know what I'm I don't even need beauty sleep for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just sexy right now. I'm phone now. I'm phone now. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what y'all say. Like, y'all can't tell me nothing. I wake up, I'm just sexy. You know what I'm saying? Pure type stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm pure. Okay? You know what I'm saying? That's how we get now. But I don't know what I'm finna do. I know I got stuff to do. I don't know what I'm gonna do first. But, you know what I'm saying? I'll check back in or whatever the case, man. Like, I don't know. But, once again, you already know tonight. Tonight, 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 tonight. We back at it, man. I need a break, though, man. I ain't DJing tomorrow. Like, people want me to DJ tomorrow. I ain't DJing tomorrow. I'll probably sit in the house and chill. You know what I'm saying? I want to do some old man stuff. Chill. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want to do is just chill. Old man type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Play that stuff. Just chill. That's the best thing you can do. Rent too high to be outside anyway. So, I want to chill in this high rent place and just chill. Yeah. But I'll check in later. All right, y'all, so I just realized something, right? God don't put you in no type of position that you can't handle, right? Because he put me in a difficult position, but I remember that I know I can handle it. So I'm in the house, about to wash my drawers, and I ain't got no laundry detergent. So God had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to remember. God put this obstacle in my way because he knew I can handle it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm finna go into the store I don't like. To go handle my business, you know what I'm saying? Get some detergent so I can wash my drawers. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gotta have fresh drawers out there. All my guys out there, keep your drawers fresh. Constantly buy drawers too. You know what I'm saying? Every six months, throw all your drawers away, get a new pair. Throw all them away, buy all new shit. Socks, all that shit. Like, you constantly buy socks. I don't know why people don't buy socks. Like, ain't nothing like fresh pair of socks. I'm getting to the point where I'm done with one and done with socks. Yeah, but do that, man. Keep y'all self up. Keep everything together. Well, let me go on this stove. They got music playing out here. Yeah. So I'm in the aisle. I don't know what I'm finna get. I always get two detergents though. Yeah, man. 
seven six fifty. We got fifty seven minutes in here. It's a dub. So I'm gonna do the tire pods. But then, what I do, I feel like tire really wash your clothes, gang just really make your clothes smell good. And then I'm gonna go with the gang. What's this? Island Press. So yeah, you come see me, I'll be smelling good and clean and neat, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me go and get out of here so I can wash. Y'all should already know where I'm at right now. We at the club. It's looking dry as hell. Of course, it's Monday, though. So, that's what you expect from a Monday. Oh, man. I'm tired as hell. Man. I really don't even feel like DJing or doing anything, to be honest with you. And then also, y'all know I ain't lying when I'm at the club. Listen. say every time I pull up to the club, what do you hear? Never fails. Never fails whatsoever. As soon as I pull up, this is what you hear. But yeah, at the club, don't feel like doing nothing. But then still make it happen. Oh, bro. Yeah, that was pointless. But yeah, let me go and grab my stuff so I can go inside. Mm. Well, that was nasty. Y'all seen that? Ugh. Alright y'all, finally out the club. 
Today was a long ass night. I ain't gonna lie, it was like weird because it was like, uh, I probably can't even see me. Yeah, it was weird because it was like, how can I explain it? Like it was, it wasn't a lot of people in there. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't a lot of people in there, but the people that was in there, you know what I'm saying? Like girls made money tonight, you know what I'm saying? So the girls made money, I made money. So, yeah. So I say it was less people than yesterday, but more money than yesterday. But it was still kind of like drying out after a while because it was like, Oh no, but it was better than yesterday though. Yesterday was just straight horrible. Today, way better. Like, I wish I was, because I was DJing the whole time, so couldn't really record, like, when they was throwing money and stuff like that. So, like, but I mean, there's a lot of your money getting thrown, girl. There's one group of girls, they threw hella money. Oh, uh, a group of niggas in there throwing money too, so shit. Like I say, the girls, very money, I made some money, so, I mean, it was a good night before Monday. So, yeah, wasn't really expecting that whatsoever. Right now, I need to turn my car on because it's freaking cold. Very cold. Well, to me, that's a shame. Like, I'm from Chicago, but my body changed to down here. Like, I can't deal with cold no more. Like, that's why I don't even go to Chicago during the wintertime at all. I only go to Chicago during the summertime, really. And, like, the beginning of fall, not the end of fall. So, I'll probably... My cutoff date to being in Chicago is, like, October. Like mid October, early October. So I won't be in Chicago. Like I get from May, it's about mid October. Like that's it. Like I don't even be in Chicago. Like, no, I can't do it no more. The weather gonna kill me. Yeah. But overall, like I say, man, decent night. I'm finna go ahead and take my ass home. Oh man, which I do not feel like driving. But I at least gotta drive what, about thirty minutes away or so. I don't know. But I don't feel like taking this drive whatsoever. I'm tired, I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to go to sleep. But I don't feel like driving. Don't you hate that? And then when you finally drive home, you get home. The car be all warm with the heat on and stuff. You don't even want to get out the car. Cause it feels so good in your car because you gotta get out the car, walk outside to get to the house. Man, 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 man. Uh man. The shit about life that sucks. Oh man, I wish I could teleport. So I'll be at the crib. Let me shut up, because I'm just rambling and blah. Yeah, I'm just rambling right now. So, I'm finna go on and get off in this. I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Oh, man, 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 man. I can obviously tell next day. Driving, it's late. Like, I started my day off late, whatever. It don't matter. But, man, these last two days at the club been kind of, uh, uh, Like, I would say yesterday was okay. That's crazy that Monday night they spend more money on a Monday night than a Sunday night. And when there's way more people in there on Sunday compared to Monday. Like, I don't know. I don't get that. I guess it don't even really matter when it comes to the strip club stuff. You got one person in the club. That one person can throw 10 bands. You know what I'm saying? You know You got a whole club of people in there. And they only throw, you know what I'm saying? 2,000. So, I mean, I get it. I get it. I mean, y'all not, like, I don't know. So, when y'all watch my videos, I hope y'all be understanding, like, or the whole club, strip club lifestyle type thing. Because everything ain't all, you know what I'm saying, all with the same type thing. You know what I'm saying? Some nights there could be not that many people in there and still be lit, though. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, they throwing money. So, anytime y'all go to a strip club or whatever like that, bring some money. I ain't say, you know what I'm saying, ball out. You know what I'm saying? Like, come in there, you want to spend, throw a little honey, throw your little honey. You know what I'm saying? You can do 500, do 500, do, you know what I'm saying? But understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody eat when y'all spend money in the club. Like, can't nobody eat because y'all don't want to spend money. And you know, what's the purpose of paying to come to the strip club? And you ain't going to get the full experience of the strip club. You know what I'm saying? Watching somebody else throw money is not as exciting as you throwing your own. You know what I'm saying? You throwing money. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. You got a little Instagram video, like, fake. Stunning like you just, you know what I'm saying? Getting money and all the other stuff. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Just make, make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? When you come to the strip club, make it make sense. Like, I ain't say you gotta go in there and ball out and shit like that. I mean, you want to, you want to. You can, you can type thing. Like, that's on you. I don't know everybody's financial, you know what I'm saying, position. I know people out there that blue, throw, throw a lot of money in strip club, but then be broke the next day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can't pay bills, all type of stuff. But at the same time, you know how people be, you only get to live once and all that type of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so, when you, I'm just letting y'all know, y'all come to the strip club, man. Be prepared to come to strip clubs, spend some money, throw some money, and have fun. 
when you do that, like I say, like I, the last part I said, have fun. You're going to have fun when you do all that type of stuff. Enjoy the moment, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you just do it once in your life. You don't go to the strip club no more, you know what I'm saying? At least the one time you say you went, you had a, you know what I'm saying? You had a fun time doing it type thing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be boring, you know y'all be boring everybody. Like, the dancers not going to be motivated. The DJ ain't really motivated. He trying to, you know what I'm saying? And as a DJ, I got to yell on the mic to make people throw money type stuff, you know what I'm saying? When you're in an environment where you should be throwing money type thing, you know what I'm saying? Don't enter an environment that you're not prepared for, pretty much. But... <clears throat> I guess some people gonna get it, some people don't, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way life go. But I think I'm finna go on here and like end this video. Man, I've been I've been staying a little consistent lately, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to drop these videos every other day, like I say, keep the keep the momentum going type thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna do vlogmas and vlog every day. I mean drop a video every day, because I wasn't prepared for that yet, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't mentally, I wasn't there to be trying to drop a a video every day type thing, you know what I'm saying? Eventually I'm gonna get there, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully once I condition myself to drop a video every other day, I'm going to amp it up to every day type thing. You know what I'm saying? So now I can give y'all a video 365 days out the year type thing. You know what I'm saying? And then I got videos on, like in the stash type shit. So if I'm sick or whatever going on in my life, I can actually just continue to drop videos until I get better type thing. So I'm going hard with the YouTube finally. You know what I'm saying? Everything click. Everything makes sense. Learn some stuff. Talk to some people. So it's going up on the channel. Just know that. But like I said, I'm going to get up out of here. I'll check with y'all in next time. Y'all already know what I do. Two fingers up. I'm out.